Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith once again and I do have to apologize for the gameplay footage, we're in the middle of moving offices right now, so without further ado, let's get into the topic at hand. So what happens when pro overclockers gather to test a newly released processor? <laughs> well, world records are achieved, of course. Now, this is exactly what happened with the recent AMD Ryzen 2000 series launch, where pro overclockers Derbauer and Neo managed to push the flagship AMD Ryzen 7 2700X CPU to its absolute limit. This particular feat was achieved over at ASUS ROG Taiwan's headquarters, where professional overclockers, again, including Debauer himself, had the chance to play with an endless supply of LN2 and quite a few Ryzen 7 2000 series CPU samples to break world records using Pinnacle Ridge CPUs. Now since the test was done at the ASUS headquarters, the motherboard used was the ROG flagship Crosshair 7 Hero, which we have tested ourselves over on the site, if you want to check out that review. We previously also saw up to 5.88 GHz overclocking results show up on MSI X470 motherboards. Now the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X was tested in a variety of benchmarks, but the most impressive result was a huge 6 GHz overclock across 8 cores and 16 threads, utilizing a voltage of 1.85 volts. Now this is an incredible clock speed, uh, although it wasn't stable, does show that it is an overall better chip compared to its predecessor that was overclocked up to 5.9 GHz. Now the chip doesn't feature an OC bug, which means that overclockers can fill the LN2 pot up to the very top, reaching temperatures of around a negative 190 degrees Celsius. There were some benchmarks run at 5.7 GHz running at 1.55 volts and the memory running at 1.95 volts. The surprising thing that they found out in these benchmark runs was not only did Ryzen 7 2700X manage to break some 8-core world records, but it also performed vastly better than similar 8-core Skylake X processors that clocked higher at 6.1 GHz. Now this just goes to show the higher efficiency and added IPC improvements that deliver better multitasking performance in various applications. Now you can check out a more detailed overview of the overclocking session in the article linked below. There's a video of the whole thing going down. But at this point, we'd love to hear your thoughts on world records like this. While they're not attainable for daily use, do you think they really matter? Now me, I for one enjoy seeing how far new processors or graphics cards can be pushed, so I love this kind of stuff. But we'd love to hear where you all stand on this one in the audience. So until the next video, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV.